Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय 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 गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय 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 गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरांग निताय 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 गौरांग निताय गौरांग गौर हरे निताय गौरांग गौर हरे निताय गौरांग गौर हरे निताय गौरांग गौर हरे निताय 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 गौरांग 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा माधव हरे राधा माधव हरे राधे जय राधा माधव हरे राधा माधव हरे राधे जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल नित्य गौरा हरि बोल नित्य गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल नित्य गौर हरि बोल हरे नाम संकीर्तन की जय जय राधे जय कृष्णा जय वृंदावन श्री गोविंद गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन जय राधे जय कृष्णा श्यामा कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन कालिंदी यमुना जय जय महान श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन कलिंदी यमुना जय जय महावन केसी घाट बंशी बट द्वादशा कान जहाँ सब लीला कैलो श्री नंद नंद केसी घाट वंशी बट द्वादश कान सब लीला कोलो श्री नंद नंद श्री नंद यशोदा जय जय गोपगान श्री दामादि जय जय धेनुवत्स ग श्री नंद यशोदा जय जय गोपगान श्री दामादि जय जय धेनुवाच ग जय वृष भानु जय कीर्तिदा सुंदरी जय पूर्णमासी जय अभिरानगारी जय वृष भानु जय कीर्तिदा सुंदरी जय 
ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾಸಿ ಜಯ ಅವಿರಾನ ಗಾರಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗೋಪೀಶ್ವರ ವೃಂದಾವನ ಮಾಜ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಖ ಬಾಟು ದ್ವೇಜ ರಾಜ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗೋಪೇಶ್ವರ ವೃಂದಾವನ ಮಾಜ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಖ ಬಾಟು ದ್ವೇಜ ರಾಜ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಘಾಟ ಜಯ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ನಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ವೃಂದಾವನ ಬಾಸಿ ಜಟ ಜಾನ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಘಾಟ ಜಯ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ನಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ವೃಂದಾವನ ಬಾಸಿ ಜಾತ ಜಾನ ಜಯ ದ್ವಿಜ ಪತ್ನಿ ಜಯ ನಾಗ ಕನ್ಯಾಗಾನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ತೇಜ ಹರ ಪೈಲೋ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಚರಣ ಜಯ ದ್ವೇಜ ಪತ್ನಿ ಜಯ ನಾಗ ಕನ್ಯಾಕನ ಪಕತೆ ಜಹಾರ ಪೈಲೋ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಚರಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಸ ಮಂಡಲ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಸ ಲೀಲಾ ಸರ್ವ ಮನೋರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಸ ಮಂಡಲ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಸ ಲೀಲಾ ಸರ್ವ ಮನೋರಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಉಜ್ವಲ ರಸ ಸರ್ವ ರಸ ಸಾರ ಪರಕೀಯ ಭಾವೆ ಜಹ ಬ್ರಜಿತೆ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಉಜ್ವಲ ರಸ ಸರ್ವರಸ ಪರಕೆ ಭಾವೆ ಜಾ ಬ್ರಜತೆ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಾನವ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮ ಕೋರಿಯ ಸ್ಮರಣ ದೀನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಸೆ ಕೋಹೆ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಾನವ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮ ಕೋರಿಯ ಸ್ಮರಣ ದೀನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಸ ಕೋಹೆ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 नाम संकीर्तन की शिला प्रभु पाद की Hare Krishna. Thank you all for joining today. Um, so today's evening program, we have His Holiness um, Bhakti Nath Swami Maharaj. Bhakti Nath Swami Maharaj is a disciple of His Holiness Jai Patak Swami Maharaj, and um, so Maharaj is a, a prolific uh, writer. He's uh, uh, he, he's impacted lives of thousands and thousands of people in Coimbatore in South India, and his disciples are all over. He, he has instructed people all over the world, and um, so um, Maharaj is joining us here in Phoenix. He's here on a short trip to the U.S. He's here for just two weeks, and he is here for one day. So he's he's giving us a lecture today, and um, the topic will be on moods and modes, how the three modes of material nature binds the soul, and how to get liberated from them. So um, Maharaj uh, is an excellent um, bhakti shastri um, so Ma maharaj instituted the bhakti vedanta institute in uh, bhakti vedanta academy in coimbatore and he has been instrumental in uh, preaching bhakti shastri bhakti vaibhav uh, to all uh, people from different different parts of the world and i was fortunate enough to, to take association from maharaj and learn bhakti shastri from his guidance so uh, so maharaj is a as i mentioned he's a very prolific speaker um, and uh, he has this knack of uh, explaining complex concepts uh, to that that ga that gr that youth are able to grasp very easily so uh, without much ado uh, we will welcome maharaj with a uh, uh, three hari krishna hari bol so let's start with hari bol hari bol hari bol so nice hari krishna I don't believe everything the guy said I am simply your servant. I am <coughs> just trying to understand what is in Prabhupada's books nicely and trying to share it with all of you. I'm very happy to be here today in Phoenix. <coughs> and he asked me to speak about the three modes of material nature to all of you. And I said all of you must be knowing it. 
isn't it? How many of you don't know about the three modes of mental nature? Only one person does not know. Two, three, four. The rest all know about the three modes of mental nature. Whether you know it or not, you are subjected to the three modes. That's the interesting statement made by Krishna. However, this is a very interesting topic. Why it's interesting is because most of the time we don't know the mechanics of how this world operates and how it operates for us while we are inside it. So, if I ask you a simple question, who are you? Ask you a simple question, who are you? Pretty simple question. Who are you? Will you know it? Because you are all students of Bhagavad Gita, right? Yes or no? Yes. Don't get scared. I am a nice guy. <laughs> who are you? I am asking very simple questions. Okay, say it. Who are you? You're, you have read the Bhagavad Gita, right? Yeah. Who are you? We are all? Is there any disagreement in that? I want to take it from where you are. Is there any disagreement in that statement? Anybody here disagrees with the statement made by him? And few of them here. Who are you? I am spirit soul. Is that the... Anybody here disagrees with that? Nobody will disagree with that. Only me. You are not just a spirit soul. Today, I want to tell you that. and I am going to prove to you why you are not just a spirit soul. It's not against the Gita, but it's very much in keeping with the Gita. Why? The statement is made by Krishna in the previous chapter. That is in the 13th chapter. Purusha prakriti stohi bhunkte prakriti jan gunan karanam gunasangasya sadasat yoni janmashu. Before Krishna refers to the fact that the living entity, the jiva, gunasangasya, association with the modes, because of that, Sad Asad Yoni Janmashu. He takes birth through various different types of Yonis, through different wombs he comes out. And the reason is Karanam Guna Sangasya. Purusha Prakriti Sta means that Purusha, that soul, situated in Prakriti. Something happens to him when he gets situated in Prakriti. What happens to him? Actually, he is no more a soul. He is. A conditioned soul. If I ask you who are you, you feel like this or not? Is somebody holding you down? Is there some invisible force holding you? Or not allowing you to function the way you want to function? Is there some very subtle powers operating on you? How many of you feel so? How many of you feel so? Okay. Some of you are still confused about what Maharaj is talking about. Why is he making it so technical? Why doesn't he just say Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God and I am Spirit Soul and chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra? Well, we are trying to do that but somehow we have a lot of questions because of a so-called famed education that we have. And sometimes if we understand, we get convinced better. So I am just going to try to tell you that you feel like this Right? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, you feel controlled. Somebody is controlling you. Somebody is hooking you up. It's called the control of the conditioned soul. And Krishna is explaining this to Arjuna. Explaining that the soul gets conditioned. And then he is controllable. You get the point? The soul gets conditioned then he is controllable. Sattva rajas tamayiti guna prakriti sambhavaha nibadnanti mahabaho dehe dehinam avyayam Sattva rajas and tamas three modes nibadnanti they become conditioned by these three modes. 
Krishna does not give the detail of how it is conditioned. How many of you here know what is the meaning of the word conditioned? When you say you are a conditioned soul, right? What is your experience? Are you a conditioned soul? <coughs> how many of you think so? Please raise your hands. Yeah, you think so, right? You think so because it's mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita? Or think so because you experienced it? You experienced it. So tell me, what is your experience of being a conditioned soul? Which means you should know <coughs> what is a non-conditioned status. Yes, go ahead. He says that although I read Bhagavad Gita, I again get tempted to do certain things which shows that I am a conditioned soul. Anybody else has another explanation? What's the meaning of a, what's your experience of being a conditioned soul? That's the question I'm asking. Uh, in mode of goodness always so yeah so we f we are conditioned means we are bound to the reaction of our karma or whatever we are doing so yeah we are we are like always <coughs> we are subjected to you know to uh, to uh, for that reaction we cannot change few things because we are conditioned always we are in the three modes of material nature so you know what is your situation when you are not conditioned. That's why you are able to say this. Yes. Okay. Fine. Jai. Who else wants to take a go? I know you. I've seen you. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yeah. Um, somehow I feel that um, the uh, I'm predefined somehow consciously or subconsciously. Uh, I feel that it's all uh, predefined or pre-programmed until somehow makes me uh, someone else makes me realize, or somehow I try to. Uh, you feel you're realize. running on a program. Th that's what it looks like. <laughs> <coughs> that's a very techy way of explaining. I like that. Yeah, I want to give you a practical experience. I'll just from my own life. People like it very much when I explain this. <coughs> so I'll just explain that for whatever it is, in spite of being repetitive. How many of you have gone to a circus? Oh, circus is very popular. Circus is very thrilling. I used to love to go to the circus. I, in those days, maybe now it's a little more modernized. In those days, you had the trapeze artists, you know, swinging and looping in the sky and catching hold of each other and there's a big net underneath them. Very exciting. You know, breathtaking and whatnot. Everybody is performing so wonderfully. There's another important thing which I like very much is the lion tamer. Have you seen the lion tamer? The lion tamer would come on the scene. And there'd be a huge lion coming in a cage drawn in a truck and be growling. And the whole audience will hold their seats. My gosh, what is this gonna what's he gonna do? Should I should I start running now? And actually the lion is let loose. It comes on outside. And there's a very thin guy who is the lion tamer. He's got a white hat and he's got a white costume and a white boots and he's got a whip in his hand. Very thin fellow, with a thin mush, hairline mush. Yeah, I think I think there's a trademark uh, branding of how the guys should look. They all look the same. And he cracks the whip, and the lion jumps out of the, the thing and stands on a stool, balances on a stool. It's a huge weighty lion balancing on a stool. You can see he's learned how to balance. And then. Everybody is in awe 
wow he's controlling the land right it's the king of the forest at any moment you can eat him up and eat the rest of us on the gallery and the audience but this one man alone is controlling the lion and everybody is dependent on him if the lion runs berserk finished there be casualties but everybody is on the edge of their seat he does all crazy things with the lion he'll make the lion jump through a ring of fire it'll jump boom and come back and sit on the stool again when he cracks his whip and then the amazing thing he will do is to open his mouth i mean open the lion's mouth when he cracks the whip the lion will open its mouth real big standing on the stool then he will put his head inside the lion's mouth in front of everybody wow everybody starts standing up and clapping for a full minute he will keep his head inside the lion's mouth open like this right there and this huge canines are there lion also is seen for everybody amazing isn't it for a full minute everybody is clapping for the whole minute and then he'll take his head out and the lion keeps his mouth open even after he's taken his head out he bow down to everybody and then he's crack his whip it'll close its mouth it'll be salivating but it'll not close its mouth till this fellow cracks the whip he'll close its mouth and then he'll bow down to everybody and then he'll crack his whip again the lion will go into the cage the cage will be closed and the truck will be taken away people really go crazy clapping and he will bow down to everybody amazing isn't it have you seen that yes. you have seen that so what has happened to the lion the lion is not a lion anymore the lion is not a lion anymore he has taught the lion you know you know about this experiment yeah, you'll see this picture in the bhagavad gita the three modes of material nature sattva rajas tamiti you know about the scientist called ivan pavlov everybody who does some psychiatry psychology and everything you know about this experiment done by ivan pavlov with the tuning fork he with the tuning fork he made the dog salivate because he associated the tuning fork with food for the dog he did a series of experiments showing the food and the tuning fork and that vibration and associating the food with the tuning fork's vibration then without the food he will bring the tuning fork the dog will salivate he's thinking of food <laughs> right he is conditioning the dog and he did various permutations and combinations of experiments he showed that you can condition the dog to behave in a particular way so what this guy did with the lion tamer is he also conditioned the lion when it was caught from the wild he kept it hungry and then he beat it beat it till it became mentally weak and then he would throw some little food to it and then he said stand on the stool if you stand on the stool i'll give you some more and they no food no water and this way he condition bit by bit and then he said if you stand on the stool i'll give you some reward if i crack the whip you should open your mouth until i crack the whip again you should not close your mouth now i'll put my head inside you should not close your mouth if you close your mouth i'll not give you but the lion did not have enough uh, intelligence to understand that you know i can just scream and jump on this guy he'll be dead the way it was conditioned the lion lost its identity who i am and it just kept doing everything that he is telling so it is based on forgetfulness so the lion has forgotten who i am and it is performing according to the tamer understand this ivan pavlov's experiments are all about this that i can condition anybody to a 
punishment and reward and then they will perform accordingly this is human nature the industrial revolution was based on this discovery you should know this that's why people start working the assembly lines like machines they do the same thing huge assembly lines and those who do nicely the same thing monotonously for a human being is very horrible to do a monotonous need the same thing and you'll be rewarded you'll be given a salary and with the salary you can look after your people together your family so and if you don't you'll be punished you'll lose your job i don't want to lose my job better look do what i tell you to do so this punishment and reward even today all of you are working on that principle very subtly behind that is a shudra principle kim kara what can i do for you will you pay me will you give me food yeah do this for me i'll give you this that's how this is based on so this was uh, in the industrial revolution started and this was the great contribution done by another guy what's his name he did experiments with rats what is the fellow's name the behavioral scientist huh not fried very famous guys these guys ivan pavlov and there's another guy i think i have is somewhere here yeah this guy he did with rats his name is uh, forget his name forget his name anyway he did experiments with rats elaborate experiments he is the father of you know ha- having employees and getting a job done through them what you should do to them he revealed it through this rat experiments i think a lot of you may not know these things but you are working under the same principle it's a little more sophisticated now okay conditioning rats experiments so you see here this is in israel and a lady is uh shopping for perfumes and she opens this perfume when all the shopkeepers have got guns they remove the guns why because right now that's what's going on israelites are surrounded by all these arab guys and they are conditioned to feel they are always under attack they heard the pop sound of a perfume bottle opening and you remove the gun immediately who's a, who's a guy attacking so many times we react in a conditioned way according to the conditioning you have according to how the three modes are conditioning you you'll react yes or no have you done it or not yes yeah constantly do it so from the lions example you know what is conditioned soul and what isn't now i am making the statement that you are a conditioned soul you are like the lion who has forgotten who you are you are acting according to the pushings of the three modes stand on the stool stand on the stool jump through the this thing jump through the thing and the interesting thing is you will say after jumping through the ring of fire you will say i jump through the ring of the fire <laughs> you will try to take credit for what you have done i jumped to the ring of fire i stood on the stool i opened my mouth and he put his head inside i i i ahankara vimudhatma kartaham iti manyate the foolish puffed up soul things he is the doer but actually prakriti kriyamanani gune karmani sarvasha prakriti which is making him do it but he thinks he can take credit for it very interesting this is this is real programming as of the soul to act in a way that is not beneficial to him and for that he should forget who he is he should forget god he should forget the material world everything he becomes robotic actually so people are talking about artificial intelligence the other day i was talking to somebody in and he was saying but artificial intelligence is this ai is that and all that 
I asked a single question to him. I said, how do you know you are not functioning on AI? And a whole new world of thinking arose in him. He said, what do you mean? You are the one who, you know, programmed that particular machine to act intelligently, he said. That's why it's called artificial intelligence. I am the real intelligent person and I am teaching that robot to actually act in a particular way and I'm using my intelligence and embedding my intelligence in that. So I said, you're starting the story with Act 3, Scene 4 of the Shakespeare's work. What about Act 1, Scene 1? And he said, he didn't understand. I said, you know, you have read Shakespeare? He said, no. That anything you read, you have an introduction first. You have a preface and you have an introduction and then the book starts with Chapter 1. Don't open the book in Chapter 5 and start reading it. You'll not know much of it. I said, that's what you're doing. He said, what do you mean? I asked him a question that how do you know you are also not a product of artificial intelligence and somebody has embedded intelligence in you? And he just kept looking at me for quite some time. <laughs> he said, no, no. I am a conscious intelligent person and that thing is not. I said, fine. You are not a originally conscious intelligent person. You are a materially conscious person. You are not spiritually conscious. And therefore, it's possible for material nature to condition you. And then he woke up and said, you are also under artificial intelligence. Because you have forgotten yourself. You have forgotten the reality. It's much more sophisticated than what you are doing to that robot. It's far more high tech. And there are very subtle forces acting on you and make you think that you are very intelligent. Ahankara vimudha atma kartaha minya manite. You think that you are very intelligent. That's the whole catch in it. You are not. You are under that conditioning. But you think you are not. Actually, your intelligence is artificial. It's not real. If it is real, the lion would have just, what the hell are you doing to me? I'm the king of the forest and lunge at that. Doesn't eat him up. Just there and run. Everybody will run away from there. Nobody can face the lion. Of course, there were two guards with the, you know, uh, rifles and everything there also for protection. They may shoot the lion. But the fact is, if the lion remembers who I am, you are finished. Right? So, just look at this. Are you also running on artificial intelligence or not? It is. It is. Don't call it artificial. Don't call it real, I mean. Only when you become free from the three modes will you operate on your real intelligence. And if your real intelligence is awakened by Krishna consciousness, dadami buddhi yogam tam yenama mupayanti te When I give you intelligence, that is the real intelligence. Krishna is saying, Dadami buddhi, I will give you intelligence to get out of it and understand it. <coughs> That's why in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is saying, Na kartritvam na karmani lokasya srajati prabhu na karma phala samyogam svabhavastu pravartate Na kartritvam, he is not the doer. He is not getting it done. He is na karma phala samyogam. He is not the enjoyer of the fruit of this work. That follow simply swabhavas through pavartate. He just acts as he is pushed to act. That's called swabhava. You know, sometimes people behave very strange. I may say, I have a fellow swabhava is like that here. And they take it for granted. He behave like this only. I can predict for you. Yes or no? You know? Yeah. Many of you who are married know that the swabhava of my wife is like this. Yeah, what can I do? The swabhava of my husband is like the other guy will keep saying like this. I got used to it. I don't care about it. Swabhavastu pravartate. It is a given that you will act in a particular way. Now do you understand who is a conditioned soul? Better. Do you understand now? You feel very sad about it, right? I didn't know you will dumb my ego down so much today. You don't know. 
That's why Krishna is saying, Mamamaya Duratyaya. My material nature is very difficult to overcome. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Mame vaye prapadyante maya metam tarantite. But if you surrender to me, I will just wipe out the whole program on you. I can finish that whole thing. That's the interesting thing. Having now understood what is conditioned soul, I will explain to you how we are conditioned by the three modes. Oops. Okay. We're done with this. Sattvam rajas tamayiti guna prakriti sambhava. Three modes. One is sattva, rajas and tamas. Okay? You know about it. This is detail. You know, we will very easily say all the, I am conditioned, three modes of material nature, sattva rajas tamas. We'll do a lot of cut and paste from the Bhagavad Gita. Every time I ask a question, they'll quickly say, I know what is rajas. Rajas means like this, like this. Tamas means like this, like this. And I have finished the Bhakti Shastri. See, I have got a certificate. But you don't know what it means to be conditioned. Jnana, Vigyana Sakitam Yajnatva Mokshayate Ashubhat. When you deliberately try to understand, then you will know what I am talking. I am just cutting and pasting and talking. I am not actually letting it go through me fully. Vimrishetat Yaseshena Yate Ichasi Tatakuru. Krishna told Arjuna, whatever I have told him, Gyan, Vimrishya, you deliberate on it and try to understand it. Then you do what you want to do. Right? So a lot of people are interested in getting the Bhakti Shastri certificate. So you can cut and paste and put it. But no Vimrishya. Right? The Bhakti Shastri, Prabhupada said, is meant for you to read my books and understand. Of course, that's a different course. And the same way that Krishna told Arjuna, Vimrishetat yaseshene yate chasi tatakuru. One thing is gyan. The other thing is to understand from different angles and view. And then with that understanding to do. When you understand that you are a conditioned soul, you are imprisoned, you are straight jacketed, you can't do the things that you want to do then you will sincerely work towards removing this conditioning. At least you know it's happening to me. I can feel it. I can experience it. Because I can't feel the, do the things that Krishna is telling that I should be doing. I should be feeling. I should be feeling joy. I should be, you know, a self-realized like this. But I'm not. I'm bound. I must unbind myself. That desire to do that comes when you fully understand that I am bound. First of all, we don't understand the problem. The problem is you are conditioned. First thing, identify the problem. Feel it. Vimrishya. Then you see you will be able to act immediately. Boy, I better get out of this. Because I am losing so much. I am a lion. And the bloody fellow is just keeping me like a mouse. And I can only operate like a mouse wherever I am a lion. When you know that, you will say, I want to operate my full capacity. I want to get out of this situation. You become very eager to get out of it. That's why you understand. So Krishna is telling Arjuna very graphically all these things. So, Sattva. Tatra Sattvam Nirmalatvat Prakashakam Anamayam Sukha Sangena Bhadnati Jnana Sangena Chanaga This is mentioned. The general characteristic of Sattva Guna is it's the best of all the Gunas. In Sattva Guna when you are bound you have knowledge. You have knowledge of what is happening why it is happening. Things are clear to you. Nirmalatvat. It's illuminating because of knowledge. You know the right from the wrong. You can see it. This is right, this is wrong. That's why Brahmanas are supposed to be in Sattvika Guna. They educate others. And stunning 
vision and angle they'll give to the reality which the people in rajas and tamas will not be able to see it's covering but these guys will tell you this is the way to go this is what you should do that's why the brahmana's advice is very useful to the kshatriya he is full of passion he can't operate without the brahmana's direction and vision he will say control yourself don't do this this is the way to go this is good this is dharma people will benefit you will benefit you will become a great king if you do this so the kshatriya will always seek the advice of the brahmana why he is in sattva guna he can see correctly tatra sattvam nirmalatvat very illuminating prakashakam anamayam sukha sanghena bad but the one problem with the sattva guna is you get bound to the happiness that comes out of being in sattva guna there is a certain nice thing about having knowledge and giving the knowledge to others and um, it's nice life here everybody respects you and they give you dakshina they give you all the facilities that you need and it's good life it's a good life in sattvik guna so you think there is nothing more than this here let's settle down here i mean the the good thing about phoenix is it got a nice house i got my family very well settled good job right imagine how it was in india housey well, let's settle down here Just forget about doing anything else you know what i mean by settling down you get in a good situation materially good situation you'll settle down with no interest in going further into self realization and god consciousness and everything that's a problem with sattvik guna you don't take off you know you go you prepare to the go to the airport like yesterday i came from austin and it was like a whole morning of preparation packing up and then saying pro maharaj you better come today there is a special music festival in austin and this it's also monday everybody goes back to work and there be huge traffic jam you will not be able to get the bill. so it started from 6 o'clock in the morning the preparation for a, for a 11:55 flight and it's a lot of preparation packing up and then this and then last minute people coming and seeing you and did you take that did you take your lunch did you shall i give you a snack shall i did you take the water did you take the medicine did, 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 did so many things happened and then finally i came to the uh, flight and then if what what if i say i don't want to board the flight <laughs> the airport is very nice <laughs> there's a lot of facility here there's a lot of shopping here and this is pretty good here i'm not taking off this is what is satoguna actually that's a that's a dashboard from where you can go very easily but if you settle down there it's bad i don't take the flight i never came here maybe because i like the airport very much that is satwaguna if you settle off in satwaguna you're bound to the happiness and you don't take off into spiritual life actually that's the danger of satwaguna okay sukha sanghena badnati get bound by the happiness that comes out of satwaguna then rajoguna the next one rago rajatmakam vidhi trishna sanga samudbhavam right trishna means intense desire the characteristic of rajoguna is a ambitious burning desire always let's do that let's go and establish this huge factory let's take the loan from here let's do this ugra karma and it requires a lot of passion to do many of these things take risk take the money invest it there make the money from here that cheat this guy and put this here tell this guy i'm coming soon i pay you the interest put it here tell oh, government laws rules ah, ooh, ah. finally ah, i did it i did it let's get into the next project are yeah let's rest for it. no 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 that's not waste time <coughs> this is rajogun world moves by rajogun the economy moves on rajogun greed economy moves on greed it's because of rajogun <coughs> so trishna sanga samud unlimited desires and longings hectic activity always busy morning to evening busy oh he is always busy he's a very busy man 
and is a good quality nowadays he is a very active man he is a very busy man he puts his finger into so many pies he got a lot of things to do but actually he is a idiot most of the things he does not do properly he just wants people to say i am a very busy man i keep busy all he can do is to be busy he doesn't stand and think you idiot you are a conditioned soul he can never think about it he is in rajas and the whole world celebrates such a person gives him an award best sales best marketing award but the best guy is this guy is a very epitome of passion <laughs> you want the whole world under his thumb he just went around doing what he wants he killed 6 million jews in concentration camps just does what he wants to do crazy fellows rajogun makes you crazy then tamogun makes you even more crazy tamogun nidrala laziness sleep suicide drug yourself intoxicate yourself all these things is tamogun very low level very low level of operation tamogun means darkness you don't know anything what is right what is wrong nothing you are just completely in the clutches you want to drink day and night <coughs> you'll be driven to madness pramada and you will commit suicide you will like to sleep all the time because you are always drunk it's a completely different world very low level actually in the night when you go to sleep you have to be in tamogun then only you will get sleep don't think that oh sleep means tamogun i don't want to sleep <coughs> it's not that if you don't sleep you will be in rajogun or satogun no you have to sleep isn't it So unless there is tamogun, we can't go to sleep. We can't go to sleep. And many guys are so passionate they can't sleep. They have to take a sleeping pill to sleep. And now there's all sorts of uh, companies that teach you how to sleep. In South India, I saw a place called a lady, big poster of lady, and it's written hush. no more uh you know disturbed sleep or whatever some nice slogan you just have to go to them and say i want to sleep tonight you can hire a nice bedroom and they'll teach you how to sleep they'll sing a lullaby maybe and put you to sleep they'll give you chamomile tea they'll give you a nice sounding soothing music they'll say all sorts of things to you put some perfumes this that they will take a hot water bath and they give you a super cool ac room and they'll they will put you to sleep and the guy gets up in the morning so wow i slept here how did you do it you can come again you just pay so much for tonight one night of a sleep we gave you their experts is inducing tamogun in you right guys cannot sleep so this way anyway tamogun means these are the characteristics of it so because of these three gunas we function under these three gunas we are conditioned by three the gunas is a permutation and combination of these gunas some guys have 40% sattva 20% this 60% that like that so it's mentioned that in human society you have permutation combination of these modes in different personalities swabhava is a huge number of combinations that come up according to the permutation combination the ratio and proportion so actually you can there is a devotee who has done research on this he has made a vedic personality index in my sessions i make a person 
answer some hundred questions and from there i can tell you how much percentage of sattva you have rajas you have and uh, tamas you have i can make out so there's an in- index of your personality and your combination of things proper said that we should bring ourselves into sattvika guna at least then spiritual life in krishna consciousness becomes easier that is why in our whole program we have get up in the morning capture the sattva guna in the morning for mangala arati chant hari krishna together you know remain in the company of devotees don't yield to rajogun tamogun and many such things human society in varnashrama is classified according to this according to each person's horoscope is in sattva gun rajogun tamogun from his guna karma vibhagasha krishna explains that i have instituted varnashrama according to guna and karma so you have brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra and shudra means full ignorance vaishya means passion and ignorance rajas and tamas and kshatriya is fully passionate and a brahmana is fully sattvic in this way human society consists of a mix of all these people that's why in human society we need all of them but the present civilization works at producing everybody to be a shudra only it doesn't talk about higher values right so in this way you can understand and krishna is saying if you take shelter of me only will the gunas leave you the only way to get out of the gunas influence is surrender to me what is the shloka that krishna says ha huh? no regarding the gunas you don't know no i know you know shlokas from the bhagavad gita what's the particular shloka he says mama maya duratyaya i'll give you a hint ah it directly saying daivi hayesha gunamayi these gunas my daivi prakriti mama maya duratyaya daivi hayesha gunamayi mama maya these three gunas you cannot overcome it on your own mama maya duratyaya means deadly fort it is but mame vaye prapadyante if you surrender to me maya metam tarantite you will cross over very easily and prabhupada illustrated this shloka by giving an example he said that if you go to a rich man's house at least in india you go to a rich man's house in one acre property there be a house in the center and rest is all landscaping and flowers and then there are a few dogs inside massive dogs almost looking like wolves and if you ring the bell at the gate they will come at you and leap on the gate gate is very strong because these guys leap on it they leap on the gate and salivate and show their canines and bark at you. get the hell out of here this is kali yuga welcome very cultured when a guest comes they'll show you send the dogs to the guy let's see if you can keep him off right they come and they shout and yell at you and lunge for your throat but then if you're if you're a little too weak hearted you'll run away from there <laughs> by gosh even if the gate opens i don't want to face these guys <laughs> that's what you'll think so but uh, a little intelligent fellow say you're a dog what can you do to me and you're on the other side of the gate i keep ringing the bell we'll keep shouting yelling and bark louder when you ring the bell once more you see the dog will bark louder and you just keep ringing the bell then there's a message that's going to the landlord that somebody is very persistent he is not very worried about my dog okay and he is really want to reach out to me so he'll come out and then he so oh, hello how are you he'll come all the way to the gate and open it and you'll tell dog 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 it's a dog don't worry about the dog it's a no the dog it will still be barking lightly but the intensity has gone down slowly and then when the door opens and uh, you know landlord shakes your hand and say please come 
the dog will immediately start wagging the tail whole change then after that it will come next you and start licking your feet and all that oh and smell and you will be very surprised you rascal just now you were you know just now few seconds before you was, you know he barking at me and salivating and now you got proper said this is the meaning of mame vaye prapadyante maya me tam tarantite if the dog understands that you are in touch with my master will no more attack you will no more attack you very brilliant example so he said connect with krishna surrender to krishna this dog will leave you but if you don't do that and try to fight the dog you will be torn apart you be foolish to try to fight the dog you're barking at me yeah come on let's fight together you will not win vama maya duratya ya because it's my material energy if you want to overcome it you must connect with me mame vee prapadyante maya me tam tarantite so i have just briefly introduced that here that's it i will not go into other details we have less time so if you have any questions or any comments to make we can discuss that yes you have a question you have to take the mic hari hari krishna maharaj thank you for wonderful class and welcome you have come after 10 years almost <laughs> we are very happy to have because you because there are many places in the us <laughs> <laughs> So Maharaj I have always wondered uh if these modes I mean they seem external but then I also feel like I am pushed from inside so modes are external or they are in my mind also or both you know how how does that work you know Yeah that's a little too subtle and deep It's very subtle and deep not so easy for us to understand <coughs> especially because we are involved in the gross material world and trapped by gross attractions if you are a little more finer and sophisticated in your learning and your understanding then you get to know some things yes in the bhagavatam there's a description of how the modes affect you through the machinery that you have It starts from the mind the mind is actually the most powerful thing through the mind you are affected by the modes according to how the modes affect the mind the thought process will happen prompts the modes will start with prompting through the mind and you are not very conscious about these things because you don't know you're very grossly situated so you just you just act according to the prompts right prakriti kriyamanaani guni karmaani sarvasha i know all of you guys in uh, using chat gpt are talking about you know prompt engineering and all that how to give the right prompt to chat gpt so that it will give you the right output how to use it maya knows through her three gunas how to prompt you according to your karma to make you do something for the running of this material world so it's very subtle that's why when we learn the theory we can actually see this is happening to me when you are chanting hari krishna and you become sensitive to the modes affecting you you become highly sensitive like say, like i said that if you're going to work every day doing this and just rushing up and all not able to sit down and think about yourself you will not notice these things these are very subtle you chant hari krishna very deeply and you making making some progress in your krishna consciousness you will notice this you will notice the prompt how you are being pushed to do something rajasik according to your guna karma vibhagasha then you understand that by the strength of my devotional practice i can keep this away i can exercise that's what is really exercise of free will that's exercise of till then it is forced will hmm and you think it's my free will 
you stand up on podium and speak you want freedom freedom of speech i will say what i want to say and you cannot arrest me blah, 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 and all that that is also forced will only <coughs> maya wants to create a disturbance in the society so he'll use you <coughs> and you think you are free to say it you are not free to say it ahankara vimudhatma kartaha miti manyate that's why it's a very deep programming right so if you become sensitive by raising your consciousness then you can see it you can feel it otherwise you not notice it mostly you'll just act swabhavastu pravartate whole mechanics krishna describes in the bhagavad gita everything how you are conditioned how you act as a conditioned soul how you can get out of it please read okay any other question thank you varash yeah uh namaste it's a wonderful story to explain uh, uh all the three gunas uh wonderful explain thank you so much so as we understand everybody is acting react or reacting based on their um gunas so when we see somebody being very tamasic or ajasic if a person is tamas i mean um satvik do you see that there is a shift in from uh satvik uh going down the rou- route of uh tamasic or ajasic because we get agitated by seeing other people being tamasic right even though we are not part of it we always tend to go down the road of so i see that most of the times happening to myself too um it's been inspired by the th- tamasic or rajasic so uh, how do we um continue our journey in the ladder of enlightenment that that's why you must seek good association mm. the meaning of good association in this world means at least those people who are in satvik guna that's called good association because in good association your intelligence works towards improving yourself benefiting yourself that's where knowledge is that's where you can improve education means you should be in satvik guna that's why gurukula in the you see vedic traditioners they won't keep the kid with them they have to part with the kid the parents he goes to the gurukula there he will be by force put on satguna his habits the sadhana and everything will put you on satguna then he will be asked to read the scriptures and he will understand it so satguna is a discipline and by disciplining you can be in satva guna and then you will understand the scripture very well you will understand why i am conditioned by the three modes how i am conditioned right so a person who is educated will want to keep himself in that satva guna because he has experienced it so when you get educated it means you are sh- being shown what is satva guna what is knowledge how to use it this is the meaning of real education okay that, that's why nowadays in schools and colleges now there's no satva guna at all some paid teacher will come and professor will come and say if you understand or not i don't care i'm getting my salary i just teach you if you want you ask questions i get lost i have nothing to do with you and the student also has got nothing to do with the prof or the guy who is coming to teach and because he just does it like that they go and take tuition and the tuition also is another way and some of the pass exam it's all about so the whole thing is on rajo rajogun and tamogun it's not on satvika gun okay so satvika guna you will get when people have been trained in satvika guna and that's very rare in this world mm-hmm. bhakti vedant swami propart started a movement to produce people who are brahmanas means who remain in satvika guna they have knowledge they can teach others what's happening 
So, Sattva Guna is very rare. It's not that if you are not doing something tamasic, you are in Sattva Guna. Don't assume that you are in Sattva Guna. This Rajoguna means great activity. And Sattva Guna means knowledge. So, cultivating knowledge about the human condition, the human spirit, and the situation we are in is what is knowledge. Okay? So, it's a subtle question that you've asked. That somebody is in Tamoguna and I am in Sattvaguna and I watch the Tamoguna and I get attracted to the Tamoguna. It means you are not in Sattvaguna. You won't get attracted to the Tamoguna you are in Sattvaguna. Why should you get attracted? You won't. It is just that you are attracted to Tamoguna means you... If you are in Rajasik Guna, you land up in Tamaguna. The result of Rajoguna is always Tamaguna. Whole day he will work very hard and do this and that. He will come home, get drunk. You have to drink. Because he has been so passionate the whole day. He will come and drink and go to sleep. He put himself in Tamaguna. The result of Rajoguna is it you automatically come into Tamaguna. It will work hand in hand. Then in the morning when you get out of Tamoguna, you will again start Rajoguna. So you are only bobbing between Rajoguna and Tamoguna, most of the time. Sometimes with some good company you get a glimpse of Satvaguna. Most of the world is in Rajoguna and Tamoguna. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Haribol Maharaj, thank you for the wonderful class. So, as you were uh, explaining that everything we do is basically controlled by Prakriti and it's not us who we are doing. So, my question is that, you know, like how we we as uh, practitioner devotees, so how we can get to know that what I'm, what I'm doing is basically not forced, but actually I really want to do it. Because, you know, like bhakti, I mean, bhakti is love and love is never forced. So, how can we contemplate that? that That's uh, why knowledge is very important. First of all, you identify the problem. You study the problem. What we have done today is to study the problem of we being conditioned. Then you get a deeper understanding of it. Then only you will value Krishna consciousness. Then only you will value chanting of the holy name, association, all this. Meaningfully, purposefully, you should do it. Not mechanically, ritualistically. That's where knowledge cuts the ritual and makes it purposeful. You have a good motivation behind it. If you resign yourself to Rajoguna and Tamu, what to do, you know, I cannot help it like that. If you give up, then you will not get it. There is a determination required. That's why sadhana means, the basic thing about sadhana is doing something which you don't like to do. That's a simple definition of sadhana. <laughs> because the inclination is always to be in Rajoguna and Tamagun. Sadhana puts you in Sattvagun. Yar, what? <laughs> yes, but anyway, I have promised, I have to do. I chant my rounds. Yar, getting up in the morning is so difficult. No, but I, I, This initially is difficult. Afterwards, you become attracted to Satogun. That's another problem you'll have. Sukha Sangena Badnati. That, that good feeling in Satoguna, you become addicted to that. It, then the problem is not about Rajogun Tamu, the problem is about Satogun. <laughs> But that's an easier problem to handle. Maybe a better, more sophisticated problem to handle than Rajogun Tamogun. Right? So, a devotee will try to keep, at least do that much labor to keep yourself in Satoguna. Then only you have a meaningful existence. So, we must keep ourselves in. It's very nicely. Tada Rajasthamo Bhavaha. Kama lobha dayas chaye, 
சேத்தையேத்தேர் அனாவதம் ஸ்திதம் சத்வே பிரசித்ததி பித்தியதே ஹிரதய கிரந்திஸ் சிந்தியந்தே சர்வசம்சையாக க்ஷியந்தே சஸ்ய கர்மாணி திருஷ்ட ஏவாத்மனீஸ்வரே பாகதம் லிஸ் ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் ஸ்லோகாஸ் லைக் திஸ் இன் ஸ்டேஜ் இஸ் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் டு யூ ததா ரஜஸ்தமோ பாவக இஃப் யூ ரீட் த பாகவதம் ரெகுலர்லி அண்ட் ஃபாலோ தி இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பக்தி யோகா ஸ்லோலி திஸ் ரஜோகுன் தமோகுன் வில் லீவ் யூ யுல் பிகம் ஸ்திதம் சத்வே பிரசித்தி யுல் பிகம் சிட்சுவேட் இன் சத்வகுணா and because of that and you practicing more intensely the transcendental completely devotional activity of bhakti yoga vidyate hridaya granti the knot of attachment in the heart will melt chindyate sarva samshaya all doubts will go and you will be able to see yourself and therefore you'll be able to see krishna also the absolute truth so it's a process it's a scientific process so initially you will be feeling like that are yaar what to do this too much cannot that's one of the stages so that you will pray to krishna right yeah it's not automatic i know your it guys and everything is about automation but this is not cannot be automated it's consciously you have to take part in it okay everybody else Trimata oh, ji. Yeah, give here Trimata ji. And then, did you raise your hand, Surendra? Yeah. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Yeah, thank you. So, is there such a thing called good conditioning and bad conditioning? The reason being, I always try to condition my son. Every day, my constant nag is, did you chant? Okay, you didn't get time in the house. Did you chant while going in the car to the school, right? So, I'm constantly nagging about it. and uh, there is that unrest in me that if it doesn't develop a connection with krishna before he goes to college i have defeated as a mother so what i am doing am i conditioning him or good question <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't need a have a son that i have to do this i worry about many sons <laughs> many daughters <laughs> well you are not conditioning him because you are not maya or something <laughs> so to condition him you are concerned out of your affection for your child you are trying to coax him into being freed from the modes and you giving him is something like a guru your role is like a guru telling him do this and he is trying to avoid you out of familiarity with you and that's what parents do they outsource that responsibility to another third agent so that their affection does not come in between and uh, that third agent will mercilessly do the needful and you don't mind paying for it and then you keep smiling at the sun don't worry everything will become all right you know very well that you have subjected the sun to this thing so i don't want to tell you this no no it is very good it is very nice but since affection stands in between and you don't want to do this you outsource it to somebody else pay it and ask them to do it our civilization and lifestyle is like that but you can get it done in a different way just like i said now you should uh, look at and study your son and then accordingly put him in that type of association it's not enough if you a custom and then tell him and then tell yourself mentally that i told him he did not do it i am not responsible like that because you have to find a way of making him do it and for that you have to be his good friend and you have to hand hold him and walk him into it using the affection and the relationship that you have with him that requires time strategy patience no point just uh, i told him he is not doing what shall i do maharaj do the next thing don't just tell him sit and study him <laughs> see what he likes what he does not like speak some good nice things to him praise him be with him and then make him feel that what my mother is doing for me is good for me right slowly it's not an easy job i know 
you may be wondering what maharaj knows he has not led a family life he is advising me but it's not like what he thinks that's also true but uh, in my experience i feel that uh, they will like if you give kirtan give good bhajan and dance and chant and the the good side of krishna consciousness don't bring the hard side of it to him always lead him to the soft side and he may like it from there in the company of people he'll find the need to chant gradually what to do this is one of the ways you can do it yes om tat sat i think everybody is resigned to their fate of being controlled by the gunas let's at least take some prasadam and be relieved Oh hari bol you are here mata ji i didn't notice you Welcome to Phoenix Maharaj i'm sorry hari i was bol, not here to bol. welcome Somehow you Somehow we couldn't meet you that's earlier okay. and that's okay we were a little bit late um but welcome to Phoenix and thank you for a wonderful class yeah uh we're sorry that you're not able to come for the weekend i think yeah, originally something. we had planned for you to yes. be here on a sunday I'm very sorry so about that. We missed you for that, but it's very nice to see you. Yeah. And uh, you've seen the progress uh, Prabhu has made, Hari Har Nara and Prabhu yes. and his family since you were last here. A huge difference, you know. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, and also, I think you probably remember some of the. Yeah, the familiar by face. Some, some uh, of our congregation members, and we've uh, very fortunate that uh, we have. S- more uh, initiated devotees since you were last here yes I'm happy to report to you and yeah. uh, we have a very nice uh, growing congregation and you're right Wonderful. the youth love kirtan we just yeah. started a four hour kirtan uh, on saturday okay and uh, we are very happy with our youth connecting at least through kirtan okay. and um, they're also into reading shrimad bhagavatam and so forth great and also Wonderful. you know doing other things serious things besides the kirtan so but thank you for coming and a wonderful class we hope that next time you come with little more time yeah next time we'll allocate separately to phoenix that would be wonderful hopefully yes and come soon that's right come soon <laughs> <laughs> well many things happened because of but the for covid today, yeah, for, but for today we'd like to thank everybody who came and also a big thank you to hari har narayan prabhu and uh, sugamini indulekha devidasi for hosting today's program and thank you maharaj once again for a wonderful class and uh, your association so please come again we'll go ahead and recite uh, prasadam prayers and then uh, on a prasadam <laughs> hari krishna I am very much obliged to this Maharaj. He is the one who brought me to Krishna consciousness. He helped me a lot. He is the person who took me to Mayapur for the first time. I am thanking him this opportunity. I am taking this opportunity to thank him. I am very much obliged for my whole life, for maybe life after. महाप्रसादे गोविंदे नाम ब्राह्मणी वैष्णवे स्वल्प पुण्यवतम राजन विश्वाय सुनि बजायते शरीरा विद्या जाय जडेंद्रिया ताय काल जीवे फेले विषय सागरे तारमते जीवाते लोभमाया सुदुरमते ताके जटा कठिन संसार कृष्ण बड़ो दया मय करी बार जीवा जाय स्वा प्रसादन दिलो भाय सयना अमृत पाओ श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गुण गाओ प्रेम दा को श्री चैतन्य निताय जय निमाय जय निताय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर 
ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವದ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಸಾದ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜೋರಿನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿನೋದ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा